Do you know if having tea sweetened with coconut sugar leads to a lower blood sugar spike compared to regular sugar? Let's find out. Today I'm having one cup of tea sweetened with one teaspoon of coconut sugar. Now coconut sugar is actually not made from a coconut. It's made from the sap of the coconut tree. This cup should have about 85 calories. Same as when I had tea with white sugar because coconut sugar has about the same calories as white sugar. Let's see what happens. The taste is surprisingly pretty neutral and it seems a little less sweet as compared to when I had white sugar. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 18 mg increase. That's good news because when I had tea with 1 teaspoon of white sugar, my blood sugar levels had increased by 24 mg. This is lesser. And if you notice, my blood sugar levels came back to normal in the same amount of time in both cases. 1 hour 15 minutes. Which means that net net coconut sugar gave a better result. This does make sense because coconut sugar has a lower glycemic index compared to white sugar because it has a little bit of fiber in it. The overall learning seems to be that less processed sugars like honey, coconut sugar and desi khand do give a better result compared to white sugar. But of course, they cannot compete with calorie free natural sweeteners like stevia and monk fruit because they don't increase blood sugar levels at all. For comparison, when I had tea sweetened with stevia, my blood sugar levels had only increased by 6 mg, the same as when I had tea without any sugar. Coming back to coconut sugar, it does seem to be a better option as compared to white sugar and surprisingly tastes similar to white sugar which means that you don't need to acquire a taste for it. 